hi, and welcome to Good News Friday. Kyle Meekler is here. I'm Joey Yarber. Welcome in, everyone. Mike Simon is on vacation, and we just want to take this opportunity to spend a little bit of time with you today to talk about something we're always excited about here at Simon Solutions, rolling out new features. We're always listening, aren't we, Kyle? We, we, we are. Really do. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we're always happy to share what we hear uh, with others, especially our development team. You know, here's what people are talking about. Here's what they're really needing right now. And uh, when our development team hears this, they take that stuff seriously. Uh, We're not done. Uh, We're never through. And as the work continues out there with you, as you continue to change people's lives and impact them, Uh, We here at Simon Solutions, we are listening and uh, happy to share uh, some great new developments. Kyle and I, we're we're the the guys you probably will do a demonstration with if you request a demonstration here at Simon Solutions. And we we do uh, a lot of demonstrations. And during those demonstrations, my brother here is always like taking copious notes. I, I see him and it's like when we hear something, and Kyle... You write this stuff down, man, and you take this back to the development team. And luckily, um, they're able to devise and innovate many times a lot of what we're hearing. Honestly, that's one of the most exciting parts of my my job here at Simon Solutions is listening to the goals of, of someone that is in the trenches working with somebody who needs help. And there's tools that they need for their toolkit. And we might not have them yet. But we're always listening. We write that down and bring it back to the development team. And I think that's partially for today, kind of what we wanted to talk about, right, is kind of look at some of those new features um, with the pro level and also some of the enhancements that are coming. Is that right? Anything else you want to share with that, Joe? Well, you know, the, the excitement of the pro level, Kyle, is we continue to bring in some new innovative features uh, and the changes that we have that are currently ongoing with the, even like the client kiosk. You know, we have a lot of people that's diving into that part of this. I think a lot of this came from COVID, but even before COVID, I remember the conversations that we were having is that we need some way for a client to be able to get some of their information into charity tracker safely, securely with regard to privacy and all that but still nonetheless empower that client uh, to get some of their information in and sure enough uh, we come up with the client kiosk uh, feature there but we're not through with that we're constantly working with those current features that we have and uh, some really exciting stuff going on there with the client kiosk that's right and that's one of several features with the pro level yeah. Um, kiosk is just is just one of those and it also includes the client broadcasting feature where you can send an sms text message to your clients an audience of clients maybe you want to let everyone know hey we have a new program at our nonprofit starting next month or hey we have a we're closed on uh, tomorrow because of a storm so the client broadcasting feature client scheduling it helps us streamline who's coming through the door and when and also send reminders for those folks that have appointments so they don't forget about their appointment at your organization and also custom assessments. Now, I will say there's a couple new things uh, with the kiosk mode and client scheduling. I think it'd be great to highlight real quick, Joe. You think? Yeah, absolutely, Kyle. Share with us, if you wouldn't mind, a little bit about what we have done there uh, with the capability of the client kiosk. I'm very excited about because, hey, we're not just limited to the English language. We know a lot of the clients out there speak Spanish and being able to bring in the capability there from that other language. Hey, that's exciting, Kyle. It is, it is. So let's let's start there. And for yeah. those that might not know, uh, with the pro level of service, we have uh, several features. One of those is kiosk and remote intake. And what that is, is it allows an actual person, the individual, your guest, the person that's coming in on site or from home to be able to put in their own information directly, securely into the database. So kiosk mode is a mode that you can activate with the pro level of service. Kiosk is for on-site data entry. You could log into kiosk mode from a computer in the waiting area of your nonprofit or maybe a a tablet that you hand off to someone who's new through their car window if it's a drive-up model right now. Um, You can have them fill out their own information on-site using kiosk mode or off-site. There's a remote link right here 
that can be embedded on your website as a button that someone could click or it could be emailed to a client so they could take that uh, click the link put in their own information from home or from their car wherever they're at <clears throat> but the idea of this is it brings up a client facing portal where the person can put in their own information. But we've heard, you know, in our great nation, there's a lot of different languages, a lot of different uh, individuals that are needing help, but they might not speak English as their first language. So uh, we've included the improvement where this can be translated into Spanish. So you can choose down here at the bottom using Google Translate, you can choose between English and Spanish for the intake form. Very cool. Now with the Google Chrome web browser, it's not limited to just English and Spanish. You can download what's called Google Translate. It's a, it's a Chrome browser extension, it's free. And you could translate not just from English or Spanish, but to many different languages. Uh, I know I was talking to a nonprofit pretty recently and they were um, taking Ukrainian you know, refugees from the situation that's going on there. And they need it to be translated into other languages, not just English and Spanish. So we're happy to offer that now. You just need to download the free Google Translate app for other languages outside of English and Spanish. But English and Spanish is native to the system now, and we're excited to roll that out with the pro level of service. That's awesome. That's a game changer for a lot of agencies. Kyle, we are listening and, uh, you know, we're not through uh, with many times we'll, we'll roll out a feature, but hey, we're always tweaking. We're always working to, and the feedback is invaluable to us. We really do take that seriously. This is one of the results from that feedback. So, yeah. yeah it's and, awesome. and to your point, and a perfect example of this is with our appointments and client scheduling right. feature. Yeah. So, we listened, we rolled this out uh, a while back with the pro level, but we heard feedback, you know, hey, it'd really be nice if it could do this or could do this. So, we're, we're coming. There's some changes that are coming. I can't really show today, uh, but they're in the works right now by our development team. They're working hard in the background. Uh, Putting, the, putting these uh, updates in place. So let's talk about that. Whenever we go to someone's case file, over here on the right with the pro level, you'd have an additional tab called appointments. With appointments, I can schedule an upcoming appointment for someone based upon appointment types. So when I click add appointment on the window that appears, I can schedule Tabitha for any day, any time, or choose from a particular appointment type that I've created. Appointment types allow us to say, for this particular type of appointment that we're scheduling, what is it? How long is it? How many people for that duration can be scheduled for that? And do we want the client to get a reminder? So if I choose like weekly food pickups, let's say here at my organization, I do weekly food pickups every Thursday. I can see on my calendar, once I choose that appointment type weekly food pickup every Thursday that has availability in the corresponding time slots that are available. Same thing with counseling sessions. Let's say Tabitha needs a counseling session in August. I can choose that appointment type. And instead of every Thursday, it's the third Friday of every month is when we do counseling sessions. So I can look over to August, choose the third Friday in August, which is the 19th. And then I see the, the corresponding time slots for that. We're going to schedule for 1 p.m. Now on that appointment type, I have it where the clients that are scheduled for that get a reminder via email and SMS text messaging 24 hours before the appointment. So when I add this appointment for Tabitha, not only is it showing on my schedule, she's, she's uh, scheduled for the August 19th, she gets a reminder the day before August 18th that her appointment is, date is approaching, you know, come early or whatever the details are of my counseling session with Tabitha. All appointments that are scheduled are visible under the My Agency tab under the appointments area here. I could print out a list for a particular day or manage the appointment types here. Well, let's talk about what's coming. Right now, all the appointments are in the system under the appointments tab, uh, but we want to give some integration with Google Calendar and Outlook. So if you use Google Calendar or Outlook to uh, keep track of your appointments, we want to give a feed from Charity Tracker to your calendar. So that's something that's coming. It's not available today in, in July, but that, please know that we've heard that feedback and we're going to be implementing that as soon as possible. Another thing is, is self-scheduling. Right now, if I want to schedule a client, I have to go to the case file, go to the appointments tab and schedule him based upon availability. I might be talking to him on the phone or seeing him in person, but we want to give you an additional option to send a link to John. So from home, 
he could click his email and click a link and it would show all the appointment types that are available and self schedule. How huge is that, Joey? Let people pick their own <laughs> dates and times uh, for that. So we're excited about some of those changes uh, that are coming down and just look for some correspondence from us here at Charity Tracker and Oasis Insight. If you're on the pro level, we'll be releasing those features and we'll let you know. Uh, we'll even include like a little article and video about how to, how to use those new features. Well, we know you're busy. And so allowing a client to work, you know, being able to schedule in that kind of aspect and just taking it from a perspective of time management there at your agency uh, and, and making sure that every available option from a technology perspective is at your fingertips. That's our goal here at Simon Solutions. And we developed this system, not by us, it was you. It was listening to you, to your feedback. So if you have any suggestions, we're all ears. Let us know what you're thinking as to how that you know the system charity track, Oasis Insight. Uh, let us know as to how that we can help out with all that. Right. And just uh, making sure that we empower you there as you work to change and help people's lives. Hey, big thank you to our friends there at Extreme Love Ministries in Cambodia. Uh, Kyle, we're international. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> throughout the world, uh, Kelly, big thank you to everyone there uh, for your vision, for what you're doing to stop human trafficking, the focus there on the victims there, and maybe, if you will, uh, just working from a perspective of helping those victims, but then also uh, stopping human trafficking before it even occurs. Mm -hmm. And there's just some awesome programs that these folks are involved in. Charity Tracker has been chosen to serve and work and partner with you and we're so grateful and honored for that truly truly good news truly good news it's a good news friday kyle meekler thank you so much man you've you've actually shared with me some very exciting news uh today about where we are and where we're going we're never through we're never stopping we thank you so much for the honor of serving with you for kyle i'm joy from all of us here at simon solutions take care everybody have a great weekend